This is Alan Bush with ADMIS with the Daily Financial Forecast for Tuesday, May 10th. Starting out with the stock index futures, we are seeing prices higher this morning. This is primarily due to better energy prices. Also, we did have some of the economic reports today uh, coming in a little bit stronger than expected. Also, we do feel that even though several Fed officials talked about the possibility of a rate increase at the June meeting, uh, and that did some damage to stock indices over the last uh, several days, our feeling is that the Fed will not be in a position to raise rates in June. And as traders realize this, that will be supportive longer term to stock index futures. So today I would look for further gains. Longer term, I would also look for additional strength. Now moving over to the currencies, seeing the dollar index higher for a sixth day. And dollar gains seem to be primarily due to comments from at least four Fed officials uh, over the last week and a half, indicating that they would not rule out a June rate increase or that if the economy were to remain on track, the Fed could raise in June. Our feeling is that these comments are entirely designed to support the dollar index and, then, and that once the June meeting rolls around that the Fed will not be raising rates. In fact, there's a very good chance that uh, they may only be raising rates one time this year, possibly in December. So the dollar index is enjoying hawkish comments from the Fed. I'm not sure how much longer it will last, but uh, there has been some strength there. Also in the British pound, we do feel that the pound is likely to work lower longer term, although it is a little bit higher today as the UK trade deficit, although expanding, did not come in quite as wide as some analysts had expected. We do feel that the pound is likely to be the weakest of the major currencies longer term, especially in light of the June 23rd referendum for the UK to leave the European Union and some of the more recent polls indicating that the leave vote is beginning to gain a bit more traction. Also seeing some pressure in the yen this after the uh, monetary officials in Japan ramping up their talk uh, about their displeasure with the yen being as strong as it has been threatening uh, interbank intervention against the yen. And now in the interest rate markets, a uh, little bit lower up front, at least uh, in the futures lower. This linked to higher energy prices and higher stock indices. Well, the bonds holding up relatively well. Longer term, we feel that the entire complex is likely to work uh, a bit lower, uh, including the bond market as core inflation rates around the world uh, start to increase. In fact, that has been the trend since uh, late last year. So our bias is a bit on the bearish side for the interest rate futures markets. And in the gold and silver, some pressure over the last few days primarily linked to these hawkish Fed comments. But I believe as traders realize that the Fed will not be in a position to raise rates in June, or in fact, maybe not at all until potentially, as we said, maybe in December, the precious metals are likely to recover and trade higher. And I would expect this trend, higher prices for gold and silver, to continue all through this year. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.